Uh, I'm going to start just with a brief introduction. And I'm going to introduce you to the rhythm pattern that we use. And this is just the first uh, leg of the crystal crown procedure. And I'll do it just for one without having you need to do anything other than listen so you recognize the pattern later on in this session. Okay. Okay. So the first leg consists of four triangles. And the four triangles consist of three elements each. So for imagining, the other parts are changing and appearance. The triangle is imagining changing appearance. Can you feel how there's a ring to that? Imagining changing appearance? Yes. Okay. There's no imagining if there isn't some appearance changing. Okay. The second triangle is intending and its parts are activity existing. Intending activity existing. Can you feel how there's a kind of forcefulness to that triangle? Yes. And the third triangle is remembering. That's its foundation. And it's remembering integrity persisting. Now, integrity is just the stability of something being itself. That's all it is. It has nothing to do with virtue or goodness. It's misused. It's misunderstood. People confuse it with honor and truthfulness or goodness because in general those are the effects of having integrity but actually integrity it comes from the word integral which means being one or of a piece so I'm spending a little time extra on integrity because understood it's simple misunderstood it's unworkable All right. so you know in the case of an automobile engine there's a difference between an assembled engine and a collection of engine parts. Sure. Even if all the parts are there, it doesn't function as an engine. It functions, exactly. it functions as a pile. <laughs> a pile of stuff. A pile of stuff. However, when assembled, those parts have now an integrity. They are put into something larger that contains all of them, and they work together. And the engine is then said to have integrity. All right. It's put together. The same is true of relationships. You can have people who are unresponsive to each other. There's no integrity in that relationship. They're not working as a we. They're working as a couple of I persons. So that's how it shows up as interpersonal, as there is a we-ness. There is where you might say, that the people have integrity with each other. Okay. So it's, when I say then integrity persisting, it's basically the noticing that there is something there to be noticed. It's a something there, no matter what it is. And when it's persisting, that's remembering. If you want to remember anything, you've got to have an experience that is persisting and recognizable. Okay. Yeah. And the recognizable part depends on memory. You can't recognize anything without memory. Sure. So you see how that triangle fits together now? You start remembering yeah. it? See? And that's why I belabored this, is to cut it down to be much cleaner. Things like virtue, they, that also has to do with integrity of relationship, because if a person breaks their word, what they've done is made that aspect unworkable. Okay. That it lacks integrity. And that's why it's considered a virtue. The last one is attending to, attention. And the triangle is attending to, locating, location. Okay. So, so if you're going to pay attention to anything, such as to me in this moment, You've got to locate me. 
If not, you're distracted and you're not going to get the incoming from over here. Right. And attention is, is about incoming. It's the channel of incoming. A fancier word for that is communion. So that's the attention triangle. And the purpose of the first leg of the crystal crown procedure is to get those four operating better in a person, turning them on mm -hmm. as triangles. The second leg has to do then, having turned them on, in linking them with each other. And it takes actually three steps to cross-link them. You've got the attention cross-link, you've got the locating cross-link, and the location cross-link each of which has the other three that correspond. So uh, it goes imagining, intending, remembering, attending to. And when you get all four turned on and assembled as a single unity, you get the capacity to experience. You're imagining, intending, remembering, attending to. You have a full set then of something that's workable it's a system yes it's an integrity <clears throat> so I'm not going to go further because I don't want to make this excessively mental and <laughs> it can go there if we do too much with all that kind of talk I, I'm just giving you the basic understanding of the, how the crystal crown procedure is structured and why sure so what we'll do here is a, first a preliminary run through. I said I was going to tell you the pattern. I had to tell you first what the parts of it were. Mm -hmm. Now that I've told you, we'll start with imagining. <clears throat> and imagining goes like this. Changing, changing. Imagining changing. Imagining. 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 Imagining changing. Do you get how parts of that have a ring of experience to them? Imagining changing, for example? Yes. Also, changing imagining. You might change what you're imagining. Right. Okay. The second part of that is then, and I'm just doing rehearsal with you, so you don't have to remember. This is just to get something so that you can recognize it. It makes it more familiar. So then we have imagining, changing, changing. Imagining, changing, changing. Changing appearance, appearance. So the full assembly of that part is imagining, changing, changing. Changing appearance, appearance. then we flip it around in the reverse direction because order makes a difference and that will sound like this appearance imagining appearance appearance imagining appearance imagining imagining Now, these don't make grammatical or sentence sense. What they are is ringing the bell of each of those aspects. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessary to have a mental understanding of those. It's just to ring the bell. That's all it does. And then, okay. it, and then it goes imagining, 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 imagining. 
Imagining appearance, appearance. Imagining appearance, changing, changing. See, now for contrast, I'm going to run through the second one without familiarity, and you'll feel how it doesn't penetrate the way the first one does that we just ran through, even in this superficial rehearsal. Okay. And so we're doing like this, activity, activity, intending activity, intending, 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 intending activity, existing, existing. Intending, 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 existing, existing, intending, existing, activity, activity. So could you detect the similarity of structure there? Yes. Was the experience of the second one less deep than the first one? Correct. See, that's the effect of doing the multiple repetitions and sequences. It's, right. a, way, it's a way of drilling it in. <laughs> and, and when you've done that, as soon as it's sufficiently established in memory, it's possible to sense its deeper meaning. When it's unfamiliar to memory, you're busy just getting familiar and it doesn't give you depth. You only get depth when you have a memory of it and you're not occupied with trying to keep your attention on it. Now you can look at what it is you're keeping your attention on. Okay. okay.